Somebody asked a question about can you purchase a property in one of the regular business areas of Dubai, okay? Very genuine question and I want to just break it down for you in very simple terms so that you can actually understand where you can, cannot buy commercial or residential properties in Dubai, okay? Show real first. Hey, welcome back. Look, there's a link below if you're looking to actually purchase a property in Dubai. Just hit it, click it, and let's get in touch and see if things work out for us. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon as well, all right? Look, now let's just step back a little bit, all right? Before 2002, in Dubai, if you wanted to buy a property, you could only make a property real estate purchase if you were from the GCC. GCC is six countries, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Oman, Qatar, and Kuwait. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So they internally, and this GCC stands for Gulf Corporation Council, they've got an internal agreement that any citizen from any country can actually purchase a property in any of these countries. So Saudis, Qataris, Kuwaitis, Bahrainis, and Omanis could all purchase land in all of UAE or even in Dubai, okay? Now, post 2002, after 2002, there was a specific law passed which allowed anybody from anywhere in the world to actually buy a property in a freehold area. Now, the freehold properties can be either commercial, okay, or they can be residential, okay, either of the two, okay, it doesn't have to be one or the other, okay. Freehold is ownership rights in perpetuity, okay, forever. How do you remember what freehold is? F stands for freehold and F stands for forever, okay? There is another area of Dubai which is leasehold, okay? It's not one area of Dubai, it's several different areas. Off the top of my head, I can think about one, two, three, four, three, four areas that are leasehold, and then there are specific titles on lands that are leasehold. Leasehold can vary, and again, anybody can buy in leasehold, but can, they can vary from, eh, it could be 10 years, 30, 60, 90, 99 years. I haven't seen leases more than 100 years in Dubai at the moment, okay? Now this is the difference. So what ends up happening is if you're looking to purchase a business in one of the older areas of Dubai, which aren't freehold, part of Dubai, the older side of the part of the bike. There, uh, the only option you have here is to lease an office. Does that make sense? So you can only lease an office. You can't actually buy an office in this area, okay? You can only lease an office, all right? Whereas in freehold and in leasehold areas, you can actually purchase the land, or you can purchase the commercial land, office or residential for forever title or leasehold. This is the place where you can today actually make that purchase. But don't let that stop you. If you still need to lease a commercial office, if you still need to operate in the older parts of Dubai, you can still go and lease an office, okay? Freehold, there's about 40 plus areas which are freehold. As I told you, leasehold, it's coming less and less and less, okay? Look, if you're looking to buy a property in Dubai, there is a link below, hit it, click it. Let's get in touch so we can assist you. Last but not the least, hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006, and since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. 
If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.